today's encouraging word comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 26, and we'll read verse number 39. And it says, And he went a little farther, and fell on his face and prayed, saying, O oh my Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Amen. The will of God obviously is so important for our lives. As we see here in the scripture text, Jesus uh, said, if this cup could pass, let it pass, Lord. He knew he was about to go to the cross. Uh, but then he said, nevertheless, Lord, not what I want, but what you want. Not my will, but your will. And I believe when it comes to the will of God, uh, obviously each one of us as born-again believers and each person truly needs to be in the will of God. God has a plan for our lives and we want to be in the center of His will. And yet when it comes to the will of God, even though I believe every Christian understands the importance of living in God's will, I believe that there uh, is a lot of uh, confusion perhaps, uh, a lot of misunderstanding about the will of God. And I believe that a lot of Christians know that they struggle with the will of God for their own lives, but they're afraid to say so because it will seem as if they don't have a relationship with God or they're unchristian or something negative of that sort. And we have to stop this. I think what we have to do is just simply be honest. There are times when we don't know what God's will is for us in certain situations. Why do we fake it and act as if we always know what God wants us to do? We don't. We don't have the mind of God uh, to that extent. We have the mind of Christ, but the Bible tells us we know in part. We don't know the whole thing. God is yet sovereign. Um, and so when it comes to the will of God, if you ever struggle with it uh, for your own life, take heart. Don't put yourself down. Don't get uh, discouraged because you may not know what to do. But there's one thing I'd like to share with you on this day uh, that I have found to uh, prove helpful in my life. Something that God has shared with me and taught me. And that is, there are times when I want to make a decision. Maybe to purchase a certain thing. Uh, to go after a certain project. Um, to do things that are part of ordinary life things that you may not find in the concordance of your Bible. Whether or not you should buy that BMW, you're not going to find that in the concordance. BMW is not in the Bible. Amen. Car is not in the Bible. So how do you know whether you should buy that car? Um, sometimes we may struggle with that. And one of the things God has shared with me that I want to share with you this morning is He has led me to pray in a certain way. And to be honest, Lord, I want that car or I want that promotion, or I want that project, or that building. I truly do want it. It's nice. It looks like it'll fit my needs. But then after saying that, being honest with what I want, I then say, but God, if you don't want me to have it, then I don't want it either. And what that frees you to do is just as Jesus, not as I want, but as you want God. Don't deny that you want something. Be honest with God. He knows anyway. Be honest with God. I want that house. I want that promotion. I want that job. But Lord, if you don't want me to have it, then keep it from me. Don't let me get it. Because I don't want anything that's not from your hand. And I believe if you pray that prayer in honesty, you will then go forward uh, with an anointing on you to hear the Holy Spirit guide you in that situation. You will hear the Holy Spirit's voice above every distraction, even the, dis the distractions that may come from your own desires. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you're struggling as to whether or not a particular thing that you want to do or you want to possess or want to have is God's will for your life, tell God, yes, Lord, I want that thing. <laughs> the Lord knows I do. But if it's not of you, from you, and for me, then I don't want it. Keep it from me, Lord. If you don't want me to have it, God, then I don't want it. And when you do that, I believe you will find God to lead you to the right place because you've come to Him in sincerity and humility of spirit. 
and he will bless you with his revealed will. God bless you. Until next time, be encouraged and know that Jesus loves you and his love never fails. Oh, not if the Lord ever came.